Hello guys, here I have a Solo Force Gladiator VN and I'm gonna try really really hard to be neutral in this review because I really like this light. It's one of those lights with a little letter R in the title of my store and anytime you see a little R you know I recommend this light and I really like it and chances are the video is gonna be a raving video, okay? Uh, but you know, comes to think about it, I, I like a lot of the lights and I tend to, it, it seems like I like all the lights that I sell and it's true, I like most of them. Um, the main reason being is because I test for a certain category. I picked several lights that I think are the best. I test them all and I pick the best one, the best candidate for modding for my store. So even on the ones I don't really like, I already like it enough more than the other competitors. So, and then this, this particular light, it doesn't have a lot of competitors. It's kind of in its own, it fills its own niche in its own category and there aren't many competitors. And it being a Lego light where you can attach different parts, to different light engines, it kind of just tailors to exactly what you want. Okay, in a way. All right, let's take a look. This is the Solo Force Gladiator VN, very appropriately named. It comes with a very nice uh, holster. A light like this would uh, basically be as good as this holster because you have to wear it on your belt. It's, it's, it serves as a baton and a, a light. So uh, it's only as good as how you're able to carry it. And because of that, I'm gonna you know, kind of wear it on and show you guys how it works a little. Um, a couple of O-rings, green rubber boot, a couple more O-rings, all right? And a very flimsy, cheap box that is not important. All right, let's see if we can put this light on ourselves and see what it kind of looked like. Okay, I'm not wearing pants with belt loops or anything, but you can kind of see how it's, how it's worn. Okay, so um, it'll wear on the side like so. Very nice holster, covers and grips the light very well. Um, you have to loop the bell through this loophole, okay? And I'm not wearing a, a pants, so obviously it's not a hold tight. But if you wore, it, it's, it's going to withdraw and install quite easily. And that is key to a, uh, to a, a security light. You can't have a bad holster that doesn't hold the light and doesn't grip it very well. So the included holster is, is very good, very nice, all right? Without it, I would think that this light will be rendered almost useless because it's going to be very hard to find an equivalent holster that is this well. So I'm glad Solar Force included at no, as, at no charge because this is very important. Okay. What makes this a Lego light? Let's talk about the exterior stuff first and then we'll talk about the electronics, all right? You can have all types of different bezel that you can install on. The factory light will come with this aluminum scallop uh, thin bezel here that will go on like that. Um, you can have a similar flat stainless steel bezel if you want to be more discreet, okay? Or you can have a, a little taller scallop bez, stainless steel bezel, or you can go all out and get a very tall uh, chrome plated stainless steel um, stripe bezel here, as the one that I'm installed here. Because this is not, when I first got this, I was like, wow, this is really highly polished, but it's not. It's chrome plated. So when I dark heat treated it, it turns into the natural copper color of that, or that plated the, the stainless steel underneath. So you can see here, you can have uh, two different choice of color. You can buy this bezel with this light on my store, and there's two different finish. You can have the more discreet brownish um, copper look, or you can have the, the uh, chrome plated look. Okay, I like the more discreet look. And I really like how it's tall and scallop. You can use it to break glass or um, just gives, it makes it a little bit more robust and a little stronger, protects the head a little better. The switch is upgraded with FS54 to sustain very high current draw. There, uh, there is a uh, quad, a very solid copper light engine in this light, uh, a P60VN that is basically made just for this light. Uh, it'll have four XPL PDT LED, okay, um, and it'll run on four eighteen six fifty with driver VNX uh, driver VN two. I'm sorry. So with four cell running a single uh, driving four LEDs, you know is driven very very hard. On uh, burst mode, like mo the minute you turn burst mode, meaning the the output that I measured at turned on. And for this light, usually I just quote ANSI output, all right? But for this light, being a security light, 
a light that you use on short burst. Um, burst mode is, 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 is quite important because that's what probably the, um, the intruders or whoever you're shining this light at is going to see the max amount of output at turned on. So that output number is very astounding, okay? It's about 5200 lumen at turn on. And 5200 lumen from a P60 VN is quite unprecedented, all right? Um, ANSI numbers, it's about 4,000 lumen. So yes, it will sag relatively quick in about 30 seconds. You lose over 1,000 lumen within just uh, 30 seconds. But, uh, and then it stabilizes around there, 3,800, 4, 4,000 lumen. But at turn on, every time you turn this light on, you're gonna put out over 5,000 lumen in somebody's face. So that is very, very impressive. And it'll, it'll last around that uh, length for like 15 seconds. So around that level for 15 seconds. And output, a max burst, Lux is very impressive also. 40K Lux, which comes out to be 400 meters of throw. 400 meters of throw from a very, very floody, large hotspot is very, very, very impressive. I took this out to my backyard. I made a video, so uh, a beam shot video so you guys can see. But at night, when you turn this on, the entire backyard is just lit, okay? Dry VNX2 makes um, the user interface very... Uh, you can tailor it to just high and strobe if that's what you're into. A lot of people that buy this light will probably just set it to high and then strobe. For me, uh, I wanna I leave this on my bed stand, so I have it on uh, always turns on high and then four different levels. So I can three different levels here, so I can just actually walk it around the house and do things and walk my dog at night. And even uh, imagine having a light at your bed stand. You have excellent runtime, very good heat sinking, very high output, and you can grab it and just in case something goes wrong, you have at least you have a little bit of defensive uh, tool in your hand. And if you're walking the dog and say something comes at you, you got something to fend yourself off. And uh, it comes with a very nice holster, so you can tuck it away when you're not using it. There's not any other light that is this strong, this robust. Uh, this tactical uh, for security like this, such as this one. And let me show you something here. Look at how freaking thick that body is. It's, I don't know if you can see it on video, but it's very, very thick, which adds substantial weight to the light. Um, and due to that substantial weight, it's very strong and it makes a great club, okay? And on top of that, it heat sinks very well. So now you're pushing, you're driven, you're driving this, this light engine to 5,000 lumen with 4 18650. It's, it's heavily, heavily driven, but you have all these mass. And that's when, um, for this light, okay, on my other lights, I always advise that if it gets too hot at the head or too hot at the point where it's too hot to touch, you have to turn off. The only re uh, turn off or throttle down. And, um, for this light, I'm kind of opening up the, 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 the doors here a little bit on the heat department. The reason is because the electronics can take the heat. It's your hands being burnt that I'm worried about, and that's why there's that agreement that you have to agree to operating the light, that you have to turn down the light. But for this particular light, the head is, farther, is far enough away from your light, from your hand, that even if the head gets very hot, it's still continually sinking the, head, the heat all the way down to the thick body. So even if the head is really hot, the light is really safe to use still um, in a way, all right? So um, you can run the light a little bit hotter than normal, even if the head is already too hot to hold. The electronics will be fine. It's just your safety. Whatever you feel that is safest to run the light and how the heat is manageable for you or not, that's for you to decide, all right? But as, as I said, the electronics can take the heat. And for this light, your hands being quite a bit farther away from the head, is relatively safe compared to other lights where if it gets too hot at the head, you have to turn down a couple levels or so. Um, I really, really like the tall scallop bezel here as opposed to all of the smaller, uh, lower bezel. Um, and that's the way I would order it. This is the way I would order the light from my store with the dark heat treated bezel, tall scallop bezel. It will still come with the lower aluminum um, black bezel if you so choose. It's not a cheap light. Let's see what the price is. Whew. There's two variations with this light. Okay. Uh, XPL. 
Uh, oh, you can choose. Uh, the one that I have in my hand here is XPL PDT. All right, I really like that version. The uh, uh, the version I have on my store is XPL HIV3, which is the cool white version. The cool white version is going to be, the HIV version is gonna be a little less bright. So the numbers that I gave you previously is for the HIV3. Uh, the numbers for the XPL PDT version is likely going to be 10, 15% higher. So it's got uh, the HI version, 5200 lumen. The PDT might be 5500 lumen. Doesn't matter. It's going to be a little bit brighter. Uh, you can choose. The default version will be the HIV3 because the cool white is possibly more blinding for security work. Uh, but if you really want XPL PDT, you can request that and I'll include that at no extra cost. Okay? Uh, there's also a higher CRI 5000 Kelvin neutral 219C from Nietzsche's LED that you can pick. Okay? And that one's a little cheaper at $240. The V3, the HIV3, and the XPL PDT is $255. Um, if you try to buy a separate light engine and then buy this host yourself and then buy the switch yourself and re uh, install everything yourself, the price is going to be more than $255. Okay, so I, I, I have this like pre assembled with all the parts that it needs uh, at a and you can guarantee that you have a light that actually install right with heat process, uh, uh, heat sink properly, and the switch install properly, and for a price that is cheaper than buying the individual parts and assembling it yourself. Okay, what don't I like about this light? I really think it's cheesy that it says Gladiator V in here with a sword passing through it. I wish it wasn't there. It looks kind of cheesy. So if this is my light, I'm gonna go over it with a black marker and just kind of cover that. Uh, solar force is fine. I don't really like serial number excessive print and then I more excessive print on the back here It says www.solarforce.hk. I hate it when stores print their website on the store But at least it's on the tail cap in the cavity here. So it's not really uh, Showing the good news is this light um, not very not many solar force light or finish in hard Anodized Type 3. This light is finished in hard anodized Type 3. So, um, pretty robust finish compared to their, their other uh, Type 2 finish. Okay? Very bright, floody light. Lights up everything in front of you. Blind the crap out of people when you really need it. And is very, very strong and sturdy. Okay? Four batteries, forever run time. Excellent heat sinking. There's nothing that I don't like about this light. It's very well rounded. There's nothing that I don't like about it is, 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 is the way that it's constructed. Um, aside from the little prints that I just mentioned. Everything else is, is, is perfect. It's just the way that I like it. If I can have it, I would want it to be even a little bit longer. But no, I guess that can get kind of um, clumbersome. So, perfect light. Uh, check it out if you're in the, uh, if you just need a light for your bed stand, have it there so you have something to grab if you need to walk the dog. Perfect light to walk the dog. So you have something on you. And uh, if you're security, if you're law enforcement, uh, traffic for, uh, traffic enforcement, any of, anything along those lines, uh, or a firefighter, you will need it to like break down some glass or go through some barriers. It has, it has that capabilities and robustness to get you through. Alrighty, thank you.